okay, so you need to do a pulley lab, but you don't have any pulleys. Bet you we can use some paper clips. I'll also use my wooden block with the eyelet on top. That'll serve as a pulley as well. Alkaline battery in here to help weigh it down. And we've got the red string with the loops in it. So I think it'll slip over the paper clip pretty smoothly. I'll slip the loop of string through the eyelet and pass this end through the loop. And there I have it attached with no knots. Now I've looped it over the paper clip and we'll see how hard I have to pull. And you have to read the spring scale while it's moving slowly. I get about 5.2 newtons. To do the distances, you don't really need the spring scale on there, but you might see where my thumb is. My thumb is right up to the paper clip. Look where the top of the block is on the meter stick. Look how far my hand goes down and look how far up the block goes. It's the same. Well, it's gotta be the same. If I pull down 10 centimeters, the rope has to come from somewhere. It comes from this side. It's the law of conservation of rope. Rope can either be created or destroyed. So if the block comes up 10 centimeters, it comes out on this side. Well, for the next setup, we just pass the string through the eyelet. That'll serve as our moving pulley. Now my hand goes a lot further than the block. But the force is only 2.2 newtons. Now my hand is starting at the top of the block. Look how far my hand goes. Look how far the block goes. You can actually measure that. My hand goes twice as far as the block. I have one end of the rope attached to the rod. I have a paper clip and the rope is now going over the paper clip. And now I have to move my hand a lot further. Now I have to pull with 3.5 newtons. What's going on? How come it's more? Well, let's see how far my hand moves now. I'm marking the top of the block. I'll pull my hand down. My hand went about twice as far as the block went up. So I'm not gaining any more mechanical advantage, but the rope going over the paper clip adds a lot more friction. So yeah, I do have to pull harder, but there's an advantage. I get to pull down rather than pull up. If it was a real heavy weight, I could use my body weight to help me. Now I've attached the string back to the eyelet. I'm putting it over the paper clip and back through the eyelet. Serves as a double pulley. And now I only have to pull with 1.9 newton. Now we'll see how far the block goes. You should be able to measure this. Mark it on your screen. It's only going about one third the distance. To do the next one, to do the next one, I need a longer string. I loop it to the support at the top. It goes through the eyelet, over the paper clip at the top, and through the eyelet again. Now watch what happens. Oh, it's barely moving. I can lift it with about 1.7 newtons. Now measure the distance. Mark that off on your screen. The block only goes up about one fourth. Well, that should make sense because there's four supporting strings. So what does the wheel do on the pulley? It reduces friction. As you can see, we have lots of friction in this example. You should be able to calculate the percent efficiency for each one of these examples.